Let's get out that hole and let's start farming because we're going to add a custom crop to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, fans are back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding a custom crop block to our Minecraft mod. And this is going to be quite interesting indeed. So one thing that is yeah, sort of a prerequisite here is going to be the basically the block state properties because in this case crops they actually use block state properties but let's just take a look as always of course all of the code is available down below in the github repository so let's see in tutorial mod block custom package we're going to make a new java class called the kohlrabi crop block as this is going to be our custom crop block this will extends from the crop block class over here i'm going to hover over this create constructor matching super if the properties here do not work, click on this, press Control uh, Shift F6 actually, and then we can rename it to properties as well. Now, what's quite interesting is taking a look at the crop block class itself, because that one actually reveals quite a few things. You can see we have a max age right here. We have an integer property of age, which in the normal crop block goes from zero all the way to seven. And we have a couple of other things. And we're going to do, well, a similar type of thing. The first thing we're going to have is a public static final int which is going to be the max age. In our case, though, it's going to go to six. And then, of course, we also need a public static final integer property. And there's going to be the age property equal to the integer property that create method with the name age in this case. And then the minimum basically here being zero and the maximum being six. So if you set down a seed into farmland, then obviously the age is going to be zero and max age is going to be six when you can finally actually harvest the kohlrabi. And for this, we need a couple of methods overridden. Those are mandatory. The first one is the create block state definition method. Then we want to override the get a max age method. We then want the get age property method where, quite importantly, we want to make this public. This is extremely important. And then we have the get base seed ID method. And we're going to start at the very bottom. Now, of course, the create block state definition method has to be overwritten so that we can add the property, the age property over here to the builder. This is mandatory. Otherwise, it's not going to work and we're going to get an error. Get max age should be fairly self-explanatory, just returning the max age. Similarly, in the get age property method, or we're simply going to return age over here. Now for the seed item, well, we don't have the seed item yet, so we're just going to return nothing or rather a deliberate error right here so that we can add this in a second that we don't forget it basically another thing that we can think about is this voxel shape over here so if you hover over any block obviously you get a voxel shape like a like a little bit of a shape around the block and that works well with with blocks that are fully sort of that are like 16 by 16 by 16 voxels that's fine however if you have a block that is a little bit smaller like crops or like a bush or something like that then obviously the voxel shape should be a little bit different and here in this case it's going to be shaped by the age so we're going to have a bigger shape right depending on the age and we can in theory also make a custom one but in our case it's going to be fine to keep it like this uh, we're going to see that in a second but yeah you could in theory also copy that over change it up a little bit and that would be fine as well but in this case we're going to keep it from vanilla and then on to the mod blocks class. We're going to take a look and let's create this. Now, the first thing is going to be a public static final registry object of type block. And this is going to be the call rabi underscore crop. Now, quite importantly, when we think to our register block method, what this does this do? Well, first of all, we're registering a block, very straightforward. And then we're registering a block item. Now, if I were to ask you for wheat, for example, what is the block item for wheat? Well, first of all, you're going to be like, oh, well, I mean, does it even have one? Well, it's going to be the seeds, right? But it's not going to be a like a crop that you just like have in your inventory. That's a little bit weird. So what we need to do is we need to do blocks that register in this case for the call rabi underscore crop, because in this case, we actually don't want a item to generate over here. We're going to basically get the seeds generated or rather registered in a second in the mod items class. Second parameter here is a supplier of a new call rabi crop block where we're going to pass in properties.of, and then we're going to add a couple of things. So we could, in theory, copy over, do a full copy of blocks.wheat, I believe. I think this should work. Do note that if you're in 1.21.3, this is not, or above, this is not going to work. Then you actually have to just go to the weed and copy over all of the properties manually over here. The reason why that does not work is because weed has, well, takes the crop block over here and it uses the age to determine 
what you can copy over here in terms of the block uh, behavior properties. However, I believe in 1.21.1, this should still work. If not, I mean, I guess we're just going to see. So this is fine. And we have this. Then we can go on to the items and actually register our custom seeds as well. So this is going to be at the very bottom over here once again. Public static final registry object of type item in this case. And this is going to be the call rabi cool rabi underscore seeds equal to items dot register. Of course, the deferred register dot register over here is going to be the call rabi underscore seeds with a supplier with a new item name block item passing in mod blocks dot kohlrabi. Where is my kohlrabi? Kohlrabi prop dot get. Second parameter just being empty properties here in this case there's going to be just the well actually new properties new item properties there we go and that's going to be it the reason we're using the item name block item is so that the translation for the kohlrabi seeds is going to be item that tutorial mod that kohlrabi seeds and not block that tutorial mod dot kohlrabi crop right that's the idea that is why we use the item name block item here in this case once again, in 1.21.3, this would be handled with the use item description prefix method call on the item properties. Very important that the item name block item does not no longer exist in 1.21.3. With this added, let's go to the creative mode tab and let's add the seeds over here because that is quite important. The Colorabi seeds, there we go. And now that we have this, we can go on to the data gen, which is, of course, sometimes a little bit of a crazy thing because in this case, in the mod block loot table provider, we're going to have a crazy thing. I'm going to copy this over as per usual. All of this is available to you down below. And we'll see that the first thing we're going to have is a loot item condition. I'm just going to split this up a little bit so you can see this loot item condition basically says, okay, we have some sort of condition that needs to be met in order for our custom block to actually drop something. And this condition is going to be that the block has to have a specific property over here. In this case, it's going to be our Karabi block that has to have the age property that we've defined in the Karabi crop block. And the value here has to be three. It's not quite right. It actually has to be six because, of course, what we want is we want the property to be exactly max age, right? This is extremely important. So we can even, you know, in theory, if you don't want to, if you want to make sure this all works, we can even do Karabi crop block dot max age. And that would also work because in this case, we want the the kohlrabi to be fully grown in order to harvest the kohlrabi. And that's basically what this create crop drops method does. It basically says, okay, this kohlrabi only drops when the loot condition is true and then seeds will always drop, right? And then some additional seeds will also drop when you are fully grown. Highly recommended to take a look at the method here as well. That is always a great idea. And there we go. That is the loot table sort of done. And we can move on to the block states provider. Now this one, is where it's going to go. I don't want to say a little bit south, but it's going to be a little bit crazy because in this case, well, what we're going to need is two custom methods again because, well, there is no making of a crop over here, right? So there's no custom crop. There's no like weed or anything like that. That is all not available to us for the time being. So we're just going to copy over the two helper methods right here. And then we're just going to use make crop. We're going to pass in mod blocks dot this is the kohlrabi crop dot get dot cast and we're going to cast this to a crop block in this case then after the second closing parenthesis we're going to have a model name which is the call rabi underscore crop underscore stage and then funnily enough the same thing again for the name of the texture and this is going to well basically handle everything that we need in this case it's going to use the age property from the kohlrabi crop block to name all of the textures that is basically what the two custom methods here do. Once again, I don't know why this is not quite available for us uh, from vanilla because, uh, you know, a fabric has a really, really easy way of just like one line, just adding this and it's going to, I mean, immediately works. But in this case, it's also fine. We have these two helper methods and do note though that the states method right here, it is more or less hard coded that it uses the Kohlrabi crop, crop. So if you have multiple crops, you will need to, well, basically take a look at, um, figuring out and changing this up a little bit. But in this case, it's going to generate everything we're going to need. And this is awesome. So we then go on to the item model provider because we need a basic item for our seeds because those are not being generated. And once we have that, I believe we should basically be good to go for most of this. And indeed we are. So we can close everything and then basically go on to the Kohlrabi crop block class one more time. More items dot kohlrabi seeds dot get and then we go 
and then this one can also be closed and we can move on to the assets. Of course, the translation for the Kohlrabi seeds should be, I mean, fairly self-explanatory. But one thing you should also think about adding is block that tutorial mod Kohlrabi crop, because if you have any sort of mod installed that shows you a translation or the name of a block when you hover over it, then it usually uses the block translation key right here. And adding this really doesn't take a lot of time. So you should be basically good to go. And when it comes to the textures, well, those are, of course, also all available to you down below. So no worries at all. First of all, the seven textures for the Kohlrabi crop and then also the seeds because those are, you can easily forget those. But of course, we're going to have the seeds here as well. And like I said, everything of this is going to be available. We can see the Kohlrabi crop, you know, stage zero and then here fully grown. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And with this, I think that we should actually have everything we need, except, of course, one tiny thing. And that one tiny thing is going to be making everything compostable. Now, this will happen in the common setup method over here. If you do not have this, you can simply basically copy this over once again, making sure that you add this to the listener. So you can see mod event bus that add listener, this colon colon common setup. And of course, it has to have the FML common setup event as a parameter. This should be very straightforward to add this. And then if you don't have it, of course, in the tutorial mod class, then we say if event and then we're going to say event dot and we want to use unqueue work and we're going to make a runnable over here. There we go. And inside of here, we're going to simply say composta block dot compostables dot put and then we'll put something in. So, for example, we're going to put in the kohlrabi over here, maybe with a mm, let's say a 30 well 40 percent chance of actually adding this. This, of course, needs to be a dot get right here. There you go. And then the second one is going to be the seeds, which, of course, have a little bit of a smaller chance over here to actually add to the compostable progress. With this done, though, we have everything we're going to need. So let's first of all go here and run the data gen to actually generate all of the JSON files, right? Of course, we got the loot JSON files, all of the, the block state JSON file and the associated block model JSON files. So there's quite a thing, few things to generate over here. But once that is through, well, then we can go into the game and see if it works. Or if I was back in Minecraft, as you can see, the Kohlrabi seeds have been successfully added to the game. And if I plant them, you can see there we freaking go. And of course, I can grow them here with some bone meal. You can see they have all sorts of different stages right here. That's absolutely fantastic. And if I go to survival and I, you know, basically destroy one of them that is fully grown, I'm going to get a Kohlrabi, which tastes great. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And of course, a non-full grown Kohlrabi will just drop some seeds. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that is well, a custom crop added to Minecraft. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom bush. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.